Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a Honda carburetor. The carburetor is responsible for most hard starting or poor running conditions with your outdoor power equipment. Most carburetor issues are caused by fuel left sitting in the carburetor for an extended period of time, such as over the winter. The fuel left in the carb will become stale, separate, and cause varnish or gumming up of the carburetor's internal components. This has become more of an issue over the last several years as fuel manufacturers continue to add more and more ethanol to our gasoline. The ethanol attracts water, which then forms an acid, causing corrosion. Fortunately, most car problems can be fixed by rebuilding the carburetor. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. The Honda carburetor we're working on today happens to be mounted to a pressure washer. We'll get started by removing the carburetor from the engine. First, I'll remove the air cleaner assembly. Now I'll remove the fuel line. And now I can go ahead and remove the carburetor from the throttle linkage. I'm going to show you two different methods to clean your carburetor. First, I'll show you how to clean using carburetor cleaner. Then we'll take a look at using an ultrasonic cleaner. Regardless of which method you use, make sure that you never stick anything made of metal into any of the carburetor's passages. The metal can easily damage the tiny precise openings in the carb. However, it is okay to use something soft like fishing line to clean the passages and nozzles. Whether you're only using carburetor cleaner or an ultrasonic cleaner to clean your carb, the first thing we want to do is remove this dirt from the outside of the carburetor. And for that, I'll use carb cleaner and just spray down the outside part of the carb. This way we won't transfer any of that dirt to the inside parts of the carburetor as we take it apart. Now I'll begin disassembling the carburetor. First I'll remove the bowl. You want to do this over a container in case there's any gas left inside the bowl. Ours has been run dry so there is no gas to drain. With the bowl removed, now I can remove the float and the metering needle. Those are held in place with a hinge pin. I just pull it out and then I'll pull the needle out with the float. Next I'll remove the main jet. It just threads out of the base of the carburetor. Once you get it to a certain point it'll no longer unthread but it won't simply fall out of the carburetor either. And that's because of these threads from the bowl bolt. A trick you can use to remove it is to insert a small pick through the hole in the side of the carburetor base, that'll engage against the threads on the main jet, and then you can thread it out the rest of the way. Now I'll remove the emulsion tube. The emulsion tube sits up inside of the carburetor, about in this area. To remove it, I'll just take a pick and go through the throat of the carburetor and push the tube out till it drops out the bottom. The last thing I want to do on the underside of the carburetor is to go ahead and remove the bowl gasket. We'll be replacing this. Now I want to remove this screw that covers the pilot jet. But before I do that, I have to remove the idle screw because the idle screw interferes with the screw covering the pilot jet. Before I remove the idle screw, I'm going to take note of the number of threads that stick out past the side of the carburetor body. So when I reinsert the screw, I can put it in the same amount. You may notice an adjustment screw on the throttle end of the carburetor. 
This screw is preset at the factory and really isn't removable. If you wanted to remove it, you'd have to break this limiter cap off the end and replace both pieces. In most cases, to thoroughly clean the carburetor, you won't need to actually remove this screw anyway, so we'll just leave it in place. With the carb cleaner method, you'll insert the nozzle of the carb cleaner can into the small passages on the carburetor and then run a little bit of the fluid through them. You'll continue this on each passage in the carburetor. Like I mentioned before, if more cleaning is necessary, you can use some fishing line to thread through those small openings, but never use anything metal as you'll actually damage the opening and make the carburetor no, no longer function properly. My preferred method to clean a carburetor is the ultrasonic cleaner. The ultrasonic simply uses water and dish soap for cleaning. Many models will heat the water, which greatly improves the cleaning efficiency. The ultrasonic will do a better job of cleaning the tiny internal passages in a carburetor than most other methods. You can find an ultrasonic cleaner for under $100 at many discount tool stores. To use the ultrasonic cleaner, I simply drop the pieces of the carburetor I want to clean into the tank and then set the amount of time I want to clean for and turn it on. Now that the ultrasonic has done its job, I'll remove the parts from the cleaner and dry them off with a little bit of compressed air. Now I'll begin reassembling the carburetor. First I'll go ahead and reinstall the pilot jet cover screw. and then the idle screw. Now I can drop the emulsion tube back into the carburetor and reinstall the main jet. Now we'll reinstall the metering needle. Before I do that, I want to clean it off real quick. I'm going to spray a little carb cleaner onto a rag and wipe the needle off on that carb cleaner. Then I can place the needle back onto the float and drop the needle and float back onto the carburetor. and that gets secured with the hinge pin. As I mentioned before, we'll be replacing the bowl gasket. And this kit comes with the bowl gasket as well as the washer for the bowl screw. Place the bowl gasket onto the carburetor base Then replace the bowl, put the washer on the bowl screw, and secure the bowl with the bowl screw. Now we can begin reinstalling the carburetor. I do want to replace both of the gaskets that contact the carburetor. So first I'll go ahead and remove the old gaskets. With the gaskets removed, now I can go ahead and reinstall the carburetor. First I'll install the throttle linkage. Now reinstall the fuel line. And now I'll finish up reinstalling the carb 
by installing the two new gaskets and reinstalling the air filter assembly. As you can see, fixing your Honda carburetor is really a very simple repair and you can easily do it yourself. Doing a repair like this yourself will save you forty or fifty dollars versus taking it to a repair shop. The parts used in a repair like this will typically cost you under ten dollars. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.